The influencer who refuses to shower is in huge trouble with the police, which resulted in him and his infected foot becoming even filthier. But also the lifeless carcass known as his dad, even he has been facing the heat as the law deepens. So ladies and gentlemen, what exactly went wrong in the last two weeks? Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show on day 100 of the pheromone max are refusing to come into contact with some water. That pretty much sums up the whole situation. The guy's allergic to H2O, he absolutely hates shower and he stinks like shit and he just lives off diet Dr. Kelp. POV, me looking at the blood in my stool. <laughs> yeah, mate, I mean, that's probably down to your diet. Brother literally licks peanut butter out of some f***. In kitchen roll. But for those of you who are new and haven't seen this series before, I ain't gonna do a recap, but not to worry, I will leave a little link in the description that takes you directly to hell. But just to put it straight to you, he's basically doing something called pheromone maxing because he believes his pheromones can communicate with women, and he believes through his pheromone maxing he will also attract women. And it's actually working. I mean, he's got hundreds of women messaging him daily. I guess women just find rotten flesh attractive now. Oh, f in hell. And the fact that his foot even looks like that, ladies and gentlemen, how is that even possible? I mean, trench foot in 2024? Seriously? But he loves it. And uh, he loves a good little sniff as well. Don't even get me f***ing started on the bloke's tongue, alright? It's the thing of nightmares. And when I say the law is that deep, I really mean it. He claimed that he had oral thrush for not brushing his teeth. I mean, yeah, but, you know, that could be it. But I, I, I also think it's probably because you're going around licking f***ing in dollar bills. And all in all, when you take a step back and look at the big picture, it just seems like he's trying to spread the virus. The Z virus. <laughs> Patient zero, everyone. And he also admitted to everybody while he was on live stream that during the COVID era, he would remove the hand sanitizer caps just to spread the virus. I mean, the bloke's just crackers. I refuse to believe he's a real person. I used to steal the hand sanitizer handles during COVID. So what these are, they would sit on the top of a hand sanitizer handle and you would push it down and you would get a script of hand sanitizer and I stole them so that everyone would have dirty hands. This was before my pheromone maxing days, but you know, I'd still do it. See, this is this is the this is what I'm fucking talking about. This is this is what we're dealing with, right? This bloke's best mate is the flow. I mean brother's probably got a jar of the Ebola variant in the corner of his room just waiting to release it and infect everybody. His wet dream is a sh in our guts out because of what he did. Anyway, as I explained, the law is absolutely crazy. You'll have to go and watch the other videos. But anyway, as of recent, it's gone a little bit crazy, ladies and gentlemen, all right? He thinks he's some sort of bad boy now. Uh, he thinks he's the joke, guys. So let's just gotta put it that way. Apparently, he did something really bad as well. The police had to come to his house and have a, have a little word with him. I'm not gonna disclose just yet what happened because uh, truthfully, I haven't seen it myself yet. So that's gonna be a little gift I bring to you later on. And apparently his dad, remember this guy? You know, the mummified corpse that's become part of the furniture. Well, he's been fired from his job because of TikTok. Talk. That's news to me. I, I didn't even know the guy could move. He's also posted another TikTok giving us an update on his constipation. God! Just the update I was waiting for. And the final thing we've got in store for you all today is the biggest climax ever. The influencer who refuses to shower is now clean. It happened in the most wild way possible. He called it a drive-by. But anyway, this whole bad boy TikTok. I wonder what it will entail. I mean, just the teaser to it. I mean, what the f*** is going on? I mean, he's got a snap back on backwards. <laughs> yeah, what a stupid c***. <laughs> I'm a bad boy, ladies. And while I'll let the hotties bully me, I'm not okay with the unconsensual bullying I've been seeing in the comments. I mean, straight out of the gate already, he's not happy with the unconsensual bullying. What the hell does that mean? I mean, nine times out of ten, bullying is something that we all consent to and welcome into our lives. Hey, I'm Chad. Do I have your permission to bully you? Wow, thanks for asking, Chad. You have my full consent. You're the man. Get on the ground, smelly bitch. I'm gonna beat your d hole off. Wow, it's such an honor to be bullied by you. At this point, I'm still asking myself, when will I eventually wake up from this nightmare? Because nothing about this scene seems real. It's always someone else calling me stinky. It's never been me. I've never said it. If bullying is calling someone and telling them to shower, then, well, you can call me bullied. I've let my mother go through your comments to try to find a nice one. Last video, she found 13 out of 200 comments. It's caused her to start her gambling addiction again. I mean, she's f 
and upset because she spent the bill money on the fruit machines. Apparently these 13 out of 208 comments has pushed his mother into a gambling addiction again. And I'm just curious, what are these hate comments? Take a shower, stinky. Bro's immune system is cooked. No, f you. F you, bitch. But, uh, do you have a couple of dollars you can lend me? I really want to play Big Bass in the Secrets of the Golden Lake again. Sorry, those comments were enough to make you fly off the handle back into your gambling addiction? Really? But honestly, what he says next is just absolutely legendary. I don't want to put all my family through this just because of some mean people online. I'm proud that I don't shower. And my mother is proud of me for starting to flush the toilet now. Can you please stop the harassment? Signed a bullied man. I'm like the Joker in that one movie. Hated by everyone. He's like the Joker in that one movie. Hated by everyone. I mean, there's a few things to unpack here. He says he's proud that he doesn't shower and that his mother's proud that he started flushing the toilet. So what were you doing before then? Just collecting shit in your toilet bowl? The turd collector. <laughs> that suits him so well. And I'm gonna be honest, if you've only just now started flushing the toilet, your pipes must be fucked. And he also mentions how he doesn't want to put his family through this and he's concerned about the well-being of his family Yet half of the TikToks he's posts is him just generating an infinite amount of grace You know my stink forced my mom back into her gambling addiction Can't afford the bills but who needs water anyway when you smell like a hot piece of ass? And the next TikTok we're gonna look at is even worse than the last one because apparently he's in trouble with the police for vandalism. And honestly, the vandalism surprised me. He strikes me as the kind of person who likes to set fire to things. So the cops just left. Isaac's, uh, he got caught vandalizing the neighbor's house. Uh, the neighbor has a plant. It was our plant. He took it because he likes plants. No big deal. Isaac wasn't happy about that. The guy's camera caught him. Isaac's been pissing in the plant. Plant's been dying. The guy has no idea what's going on. Looks at his nest cam, sees that Isaac's been pissing and dropping other weird stuff in it at nighttime. And the cops, of course, took it seriously because you can't urinate in public, especially on somebody's front porch like that. Oh, shit. Brother's been caught on the ring doorbell camera, sneaking over to the neighbor's house, pissing in the plant pot, and dropping random weird objects in there during the nighttime. But it's also not the first time he's done something like this. He's also known around his entire neighborhood for shit in trash cans. Funny, the washing machine's broken because he was, he wasn't scared, he was insecure. He was insecure so he didn't want to flush the wipes because he didn't want anybody to see them if they didn't go down. Don't even get me started by him shitting in the trash can so people didn't hear the plop. Well, that was something we discussed in the last video and it was f***ing diabolical. What do you have to say for yourself? Stop talking about it and stop recording it, mom. It's fucking embarrassing. It's, of course it's embarrassing. You keep recording me in these videos to try and, like, humiliate me on TikTok. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. The cops keep coming by, and I can only talk them down so much. Give me my candy and allowance, and I'll, I'll be better. We'll talk about it later. Holy Christmas Christ. Bro looks like he hasn't seen daylight in about a month. And the mother said as well that the cops keep visiting their house implying that this isn't the first time he's got in trouble with the police. So they've been there more than once before. What, the skibbity? Can I get out of the uh, timeout blanket? You have four more minutes in there. You know the timer. I just can't. Oh, f it hell. This guy's 18 years old and he's still got a timeout blanket. But the blanket smells like an ass crack as well. He probably spends a lot of time in there. You know, from that one time where he was collecting trash from the landfill and moving it into his grandma's house to convince her that she was a hoarder. And of course his grandma was aware that she wasn't a hoarder and the way that the fluff dumpster countered this was by convincing her that she had Alzheimer's. It was like my summer project with Tammy, who is, I consider, my best friend. Um, we would pick up furniture with her truck and also little knickknacks and sometimes even trash. And the goal was to make her house look like a hoarder's house and to convince her that she had Alzheimer's. Um, it started small as a lot of my shenanigans do um, with maybe a toaster or a chair. He's just not a real person. He can't be. <laughs> I feel like he's been AI generated. AI, please generate me a human that smells like ass and loves crevices filled with damp. <laughs> well, as I mentioned earlier, he's given us an update on his constipation. An update that we've all been waiting for. I have been dealing with constipation slash uh, leaky diarrhea for 
ever since I started taking my Muscle Man smoothie, I got kind of caught up there in the end. Um, basically, what the barrel metaphor is, is you can imagine my intestines as a long tube, and there's just this barrel sitting in there, and and that's the constipation part. Oh, fuck. I can't watch this anymore. I need some booze. Did you say a muscle main smoothie? And what is that? Guys, what is the point with this man at all? What is the point of his existence? He woke up one day and thought, yeah, the people of TikTok really want to know how my shitting habits is going. Yeah, I really needed to hop on you and inform you guys that for the last few days, I've been having a really hard time with my poos. My poos have just been giving me really big problems. So, yeah, it is like a combination of constipation and leaky diarrhea. Now, sometimes when that happens, I will take some... Uh, fiber supplements, which will turn my muscle man smoothie orange. Um, I thought you guys want to know, in case you want to make your own muscle man smoothie. See, so, yeah, this is what I'm on about. He's trying to spread his ideology. Oh, thanks for the tip, Fluff Dumpster. I'm gonna make my muscle man smoothie and have leaky diarrhea as well. We don't fucking need this shit in our lives. Who wants that? No, no one fucking wants that. Unless you're some sick, twisted fuck who enjoys it. Who enjoys constipation? <laughs> This guy, this guy loves constipation. Oh, what's that? Constipation again? Well, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh yeah, my intestines are so clogged. <laughs> and his dad's been fired as well because of TikTok apparently. Dad just got laid off. Little meal with Chia Hima. Isaac still smells. And the smell permeated his office. In case you've forgotten who his dad is as well, this was him from the last video. I'm probably sure you remember now. I made him his favorite snack here. And uh, I'm gonna bring it to him. Hey, baby. Hey, I wanted to bring you a little snack. I got you your favorite snack here. I know, it's, the smell is horrible. I'm so sorry. Here's a little snack. Go ahead and have some. But it's important to, to really support each other and help, help each other help. grow and... No, no. Oh my god, what what is that? Is that a pickle? Is that a pickle? A piece of pickle on a plate? Is it a slice of pickle with a glass of milk? What a f***ing weird combination. He dipped it in the milk as well. What is wrong with this family? <laughs> the family of brain rot. I blame the son for all of this. I actually believe that his pheromones and his stink is making everybody dumber. It's making its way into people's nostrils and then eating their brain cells slowly and then turning them into mush. And how kind of her to cheer her husband up by making him such a delicious home-cooked meal. Damn, this account is the most immersed and dedicated set of actors to commit to a bit like this. To be fair, I totally agree. Honestly, I'm just totally and utterly immersed. It's like a tractor beam. It just keeps pulling me in. His pheromones are so f attractive. I, no, it's been a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen, but the pheromone maxer is now clean, apparently, and this is the thumbnail of the next TikTok. Damn, son, that guy looks like a hot piece of ass. Update on the channel. This is so sad. <laughs> they threw a trash bag full of soapy water on Isaac. It was a drive-by shower bagging, and it was the very most traumatic event in his life. And I'm worried he needs therapy now. Thanks a lot, wrestlers. Oh shit! <laughs> he had a drive-by, like like a drive-by shooting. Except it wasn't a shooting. They threw a soapy bag of water over him. And now she's worried that he needs therapy for from being clean. So you're telling me he didn't need therapy before when he was stinking like an ass crack? This is so ass backwards. But his hair is now clean though. Yeah, come on. I want to see a TikTok now of him like reformed and just looking sexy. You know what I mean? Wait, is this satire or not? The confusion is honestly one of the best bits. Just seeing everybody confused is hilarious. Do I still believe it's satire? Obviously. Obviously, it is. it is. It has to be. The worst part is I don't know for sure. They just can't be. There's no way it's f***ing real, right? But I would have loved to be there for this drive-by soap attack. But the way he looks in that picture, you wouldn't think it was just a drive-by soap attack. you think that he's taken a hundred showers. I mean, they got him good. Look how f***ing clean that guy looks. This kid is the future of MMA and everything he is going to conquer. <laughs> just stay strong, kid. This guy, the future of MMA? I mean, yeah, but I just don't think he'd throw any punches. He'd probably just pull a Mike Tyson on every single opponent and chew their ears off. But guys, don't click off just yet. I know you're about to. Hear me out. If you fancy some Supporting me and Jerry, join the channel memberships and you can watch future videos uncensored with zero ads. But not just that, you also get custom emojis that you can use in the comment section and also you also get unique Jerry badges that
that appear next to your name, which changes and gets more epic the longer you are subscribed to the memberships. So that's it for today, guys. I'm gonna go and drown myself in booze. Check out my other videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones if you enjoyed this one. And thank you all for supporting me, and I'll see you all in the next one.